In this video I'm going to show you the basics of doing a boost leak test on a Chevy Cruze and what you can expect to find and what I found in this video. So this is not your average turbo setup. This is something that Ian and I had custom done but this whole video is just a principle and concept of what to look for. So right here is our custom boost leak tester that connects to the turbo. We're going to pressurize this system so that we can spray soapy water on it and determine where the leaks are. Basically what we found on this car is that it has a crankcase ventilation that goes to the head through the intake manifold. If you look through this crankcase ventilation vent, you should see something that looks like this and there should be an orange valve there. If you don't see that, then you probably have the same problem that I did. In this case, I just blocked mine off and it seems to be working perfectly fine. But it, the design of this is to allow the air pressure to go into the intake manifold, not from the intake manifold to the crankcase. So the issue was boost was pressing into the crankcase pressure, which can also cause your turbo to blow oil even if it's still good. The reason why this one is not there on my case is because the customer's turbo went bad and exhaust was pressing in the crankcase and pushed it probably out of place and possibly into the engine. But you don't want, you know, if there's any debris in there, you don't want to get to suck back in the turbo. So we may just vent this out to the atmosphere. <clears throat> so the idea is the turbo is trying to press air into the engine, but instead of going into the engine, it was coming through this crankcase ventilation and just pouring out of here. And we were getting seven check engine light codes because of that. Here's what happens when I pressurize the system now. It's really solid now. So what you want to do when you pressurize it, you're going to take your bottle of soapy water and just spray everything where it could leak. It could leak there, there. It could leak at the fuel injector seals down here, which I've already checked. It could leak uh, right here at the MAF sensor seal, or the MAP sensor seal. Uh, you could check this whole, like these whole lines here. Uh, this line here, back to wherever it goes. And then uh, you wanna check where you have your charge pipe to the throttle body. Sometimes there's uh, throttle body shaft seals that need to be replaced on some models. Not particularly this one. This thing could leak, but we're not seeing any leaks here. I'm just showing you where it could leak. This thing has a front mount intercooler, so the charge pipe runs down here, so it's a good idea to spray the soapy water there. And in this case, we did a custom turbo setup, so <clears throat> you want to check, like this, we put a pressure, uh, or a boost source here, so you want to check that to see if it's leaking there. Of course, your turbo won't be like this, because we did an aftermarket setup. So, we did a different charge pipe on the bottom here that goes to a blow-off valve, so you just want to spray soapy water all over that. And one leak you will notice to give you an idea of what happens when it does leak. It will just spray out soapy bubbles. But this spot doesn't matter because this isn't pressurized. We're just, no, it's not normally pressurized. This is before the compressor wheels. You want to jack the car up and get under the bottom here. And you'll see there's your other charge pipe and uh, there's the intercooler this has a front mount intercooler if you notice you can see that this car has been wrecked before and the intercooler is a complete you know, it's a it's bowed now so because of that it's a good idea to take the bumper off and spray soapy water all over it and see if it has any broken spots in it to where it could be leaking out of there I sprayed everything with soapy water down at the bottom here and I couldn't find anything. 
and I also sprayed this side of the charge pipe and I couldn't find anything so this one this one right here is your intercooler and that is I think AC and I think that's the radiator and this is your charge pipe right here and it connects to the intercooler right there with like a special clip and I couldn't find it leaking there or anything either so that pretty much sums it up for this video just to give you an idea where mine was leaking it was between this breather system and the intake manifold and that was the only leak I found on this and it was uh, just wasn't making boost wasn't very fast so just keep that in mind when you go to do a boost leak test I'll link to where you can get a boost leak tester for different models what you'll need to, to do is uh, measure the size of the intake that you're going to compress into and then buy a boost leak tester specific for that or you can make your own just like I did I want to give you an idea of how long it'll take to depressurize once you pressurize the system if this is if you don't have very many leaks so right now we're at 10 seconds or uh yeah i'll just give you a countdown of where we're at right now right now we just passed 10 seconds we still have pressure if you're not able to get any pressure at all the reason why why would be that you have a really massive leak but you should be able to hear where that is coming from so we're just crossing uh, we're just crossing 20 seconds right now we still got pressure and keep in mind it is leaking right here we're at about 45 seconds right now and we still have really good pressure the only places this will leak out and this will naturally leak out while doing a test it will leak past the valves in the head and it will leak out through the exhaust system a little bit and it will leak down through the piston ring seals a little bit back to the crankcase ventilation which is right there but it should be very minimal after about a minute to a minute and 45 seconds all the pressure will completely leak out of the whole system through the cylinder head and the piston ring seals. I hope this video was extremely helpful to somebody out there. Apparently it's a really common issue with that orange valve piece having an issue. That's the first thing I would check if you have loss of power and seven check engine light codes just like this cruise had. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you learned something.